In this video, you will learn how to create your own GPT in ChatGPT. This is for you if you're not a tech genius, but you could find your way around. And if you want to start not necessarily automating, but streamlining a lot of the things that you do in your business, specifically when it comes to content or things that have to do with words, operational processes, SOPs, proposals, so on and so forth. And we're going to do this in ChatGPT. And if you didn't know, ChatGPT allows you to create your own GPTs, which is essentially your own ChatGPT for one specific thing. And the benefit of doing this is that you don't have to repeat the instructions over and over and over again. So I'll give you a simple example. I like to turn some of my YouTube transcripts into LinkedIn newsletters. And if I don't create my own GPT, I will have to continue going to something like ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini and telling it what I want it to do over and over again. And that requires repetition. It requires time. Time, and you could argue that it could be done better, which it couldn't. So instead of me having to recreate a prompt over and over again to do that, or to go to some file where I have the save prompt on how to do that, I can create my own GPT that once I just copy and paste the transcript from my YouTube video into that GPT, it will automatically do what I want it to. Now, where you're going to have to invest some of your time, attention, and energy in this process is training the GPT and giving the GPT the documents, the examples, the information and data that it needs to learn exactly what you want it to do, how you want it to do it, so that it can deliver for you every single time. It will also require some testing and some refinement. So just understand that even though it may take 45 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour of your time in the beginning to train your own GPT, you're saving hours and hours, maybe hundreds or tens of thousands of hours compounded in the long run because you're not having to recreate these things over and over again or reprompt it over and over again. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Shanae Murray. I have about a million followers on LinkedIn, 425,000 plus LinkedIn newsletter subscribers. And we teach entrepreneurs how to grow their businesses specifically by by leveraging their personal brands. And part of leveraging your personal brand is streamlining the process of content creation, operational processes inside on the back end of your business, so on and so forth. And so part of this process is also training GPTs to do things so that we could save hours, hundreds of hours of time in the long run. So let's start. Now to do this, you will need an account at chatgbt.com and you will need a plus version of the account, which is 20 bucks a month. I'm pretty sure that this is not available on the free version. And before we go to the screen, I want you to first think about what you would want to create a GPT for. Think about things in your business and your content creation process that you have to do over and over and over again. The example that I'm going to do is creating a GPT or we turn a YouTube transcript into a LinkedIn newsletter, but you want it to be that specific. It could be a GPT that helps you create titles for your YouTube videos. It could be a GPT that critiques your proposals, creates your proposals that you send to clients, critiques them, improves them, so on and so forth. It could be an email writing GPT for more challenging, difficult conversations that need to happen in your business. Whatever it is, it just needs to be very pointed and specific. The more specific, the more detailed instructions you'll be able to train it with, the better the output. So the first step is to obviously go to chatgbt.com. And as you can see, this is my dashboard. You're going to click the icon that is your icon at the top right. I had the Growth Academy global icon. Check out the blog. The team has worked on the blog, growthacademy.global, and join the upcoming free challenge at ugrow.club. So you're going to click the icon and you're going to go to My GPTs. If you have GPTs you've created, which you probably don't if you're watching this video, or maybe you have one that you have used, but it's not getting you the results that you wanted, you'll see the ones that you have created. But if you don't see any, you haven't created any, congratulations, you're doing your first one right now. You're gonna click create a GPT. 
And then here it's going to say, hi, I'll help you build a new GBT. You can say something like make a creative who generates visuals for new products or make a software engineer who helps format my code. What would you like to make? I'm going to say make a LinkedIn article writer that turns my YouTube transcripts into LinkedIn articles. So just make it as simple as possible. We will insert more detailed instructions as we go along. Great. Let's name this GPT. How about LinkedIn article converter? Would you like to confirm this name or suggest a different one? For future reference, if I name this LinkedIn article converter, I will not be able to make it public or to share it with people who only have the links, such as my team. And the reason is, is because LinkedIn is a protected name. So if you want to be able to one day share it, you can't keep names of different brands inside of the actual name of your GPT. So what I'm going to do is just make it more general and put something like YT video to LI article. And the reason why I'm calling it article versus newsletter is because it doesn't really understand what LinkedIn newsletters are, and it will do a newsletter more as an email style. These articles that I'm specifically converting for this purpose, I want it more like a long-term SEO article style. And so I'm going to put LinkedIn article, even though it will be released as an edition of one of my LinkedIn newsletters. So it says, now let's create a profile picture for YT video to LinkedIn article. I'll generate one and then you could let me know if you'd want any changes. Here's a profile picture. Do you like it? Sure. So you could ask it to change it. For me, the picture is not a big deal. Now let's refine how this GPT should behave. What should be emphasized or avoided when creating LinkedIn articles from YouTube transcripts? I'm going to ask it what it needs to create a great output. Please provide me with a list of what I can provide you to give me the best output. I have some examples of articles, styles that I want to replicate. This is what I tell it. And then here's what you can provide for the best output. YouTube transcripts, key points to emphasize desired tone or style, target audience, example articles showing the style you want to replicate. I'll give it a transcript at the end. Key points to emphasize title for marketing, title for internal SEO format is what the topic is, why it's important for entrepreneurs. Example, YouTube transcript. So I'm going to put all of this in here. Okay. Key points to emphasize desired tone or style. I'm going to put in high level of readability. Example, articles attached. And then I'm going to attach them. And I'm attaching them as PDFs. And I guess you can only do one at a time. Again, it's taking a little bit of time, but it's worth it. So then I'm going to click enter and now I've given it the instructions that it told me to give it. So we gave it the YouTube transcript example. We gave it key points to emphasize. We gave it desired tone or style, target audience, example articles. Your LinkedIn article converter is ready to go. You can start by providing a YouTube transcript and I'll convert it into a LinkedIn article. Would you like to try it or refine any aspect further? So what I like to do now is actually try it and then we will be able to see what refinement is needed based on the output. So I'm going to come here and copy my transcript script. I'm going to put it here, paste it, and we'll see how it goes. Top 10 must know marketing strategies. A small business owner understanding implementing effective marketing is crucial. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this and I'm going to test the readability. I do that with Hemingway app. I don't want it too complicated. So it's a 14. That's no. They've done a lot of studies and you typically want around grade level five. And I know that sounds insane, but there have been multiple studies, even in the finance industry, based on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make these adjustments to future output. And I'm going to say rewrite at grade readability level five to seven. And then I'm going to say change as few of the words in the transcript 
as possible. Always include a signature. Always include a PS with a CTA to go to ugrow.club. So what I'm doing is I'm just refining the instructions and then the output should reflect these instructions. So if it's doing it right, then it should be at a lower readability level. It should change as few of the words as possible. It sounds like me now, but it will get better. Include a signature and then have a PS. So let's do that now. So let's try it again. So here it's a little off. So I'm going to refine it. So here I would say when writing for the audience, do not be so direct. For example, I would change this. So let's do this again. And again, this could take like an hour, but we're not going to go through all of the refinements that I would do with the GBT. But the point is, if you train it for about an hour, it will deliver pretty good output consistently. So this is a little bit more natural. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to do one more refinement in this video. Add context and questions to challenge and provide business owners with new perspective. Once it's giving you a good baseline, you can click create, and then you can choose only me, anyone with the link, or you could add it to the GPT store. For now, I'm going to put anyone with the link. And if you want this link, just message me on LinkedIn, GPT. I'm going to click save. And then once I have the link, I can go to view GPT. And here it is, growthacademy.global transforms YouTube transcripts into professional LinkedIn articles. And here are the, turn this YouTube transcript, can you convert? Please edit this transcript, rewrite this transcript for the LinkedIn audience. And if I ever wanted to edit it, all I would have to do is click edit GPT, go to configure. And here's where I can update the instructions. Here are the conversation starters that are the four bubbles when you log on to the GPT. Here's the knowledge. So I could upload probably 25 or 100 more articles just so that it learns. And it's a good idea that if I were to do that, I would upload probably my top 25 or top 10 articles so that it learns and it can iterate. And I can create new actions here. Additional settings, use conversion data to improve our models. And I guess you can turn that off if you want. And as you change that, it'll update, update, and then you could always share up here. Now, if you want to navigate back to the main ChatGPT menu, let's say that you're just a regular ChatGPT. Remember that you can go to my GPTs and I can just click the one that I want. If I have a transcript that I want, and this is the same transcript, and it turns into a conversation, and that's how you would create your own GPT. Ciao.